Good afternoon folks, we're here in Michelina's kitchen. I'm going to show you how to pick a New England lobster. Uh, the, technically they're Maine lobsters caught in Cape Cod Bay. Uh, I've got several. I'm going to pick them. I'm going to freeze them. So in the dead of winter when I'm feeling down and cold, I can pull it out and make myself a lobster salad roll. So uh, preventive maintenance, we'll call it. Alright, we're going to get picking. Okay, I'll show you a couple times here. First lobster, take the claws off, put them aside, rip the tail off. The fins definitely have a little bit of meat in them. Squeeze that, tear that. Nice whole piece of tail. Nothing like a piece of tail, let me tell you. Nice piece of meat there. If you hold the butter, lobster meat is very good for you. It's a great source of protein, providing 28 grams of protein per cup and a great source of heart-healthy omega-3 fatty acids. In three and a half ounces of lobster meat, there's only 96 calories and about two grams of fat. Lobsters can grow up to four feet long and weigh as much as 40 pounds. In Cape Cod Bay, we throw back lobsters that are too small and lobsters that are too big. The small ones need to grow while the large ones add vigor to the gene pool. In Cape Cod Bay, the lobster's body must be at least three and a quarter inches long to keep and can't be over five inches long. Sometimes you can just push it through, sometimes you can't. Nice piece of meat in there. Female lobsters carry their eggs with swimmerettes, which are abdominal appendages. Depending on how warm the water is, lobsters will carry their eggs for up to a year. And only 0.1% of lobsters' eggs will live more than six weeks. So, having lobster is a little bit of work, but boy is it worth it. body. A lot of people I know bail on this part. But there's a lot of meat in here. The green stuff in the body is the tamale. Some call it a delicacy. Eh, I don't know about that. The orange stuff are eggs. You can't be afraid to get dirty. Now, I've always told my kids, never order lobster in a restaurant for two reasons. One, it's too expensive. And two, you can't look cool eating it because you are just going to make a mess all over the place. And it's good and it's tasty, but if you're on a date, you're going to look like a slob. 
So save it for a Sunday afternoon on the deck. I always cook my lobsters outside in a uh, turkey fryer type of situation because my wife does not like the smell of lobster or seafood. Now there's there's plenty of meat in these little these legs, but it, it's too much work. Mmm, delicious. There we go. Alright. Okay, let's have another look. And again, I'm just taking the juice, going to pour it into the bags. It just it makes the flavor last a lot longer. In the freezer. Yeah, and this is a, uh, this lobster was caught today. today, frozen today, okay, I'm not sure I got a very good seal on that last one because all the moisture just sucked right in there. the lobster. It's going to make me happy come January, I assure you. It's what's for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> 